One Northeast Ohio city trying something new on its streets to keep everyone safer. Thanks for joining us for the news at six o'clock. I'm Chris Fry filling in for Caitlin McCarthy. They're putting up temporary roundabouts to slow down speeders, but Aria Janelle spoke to neighbors in Cleveland Heights who aren't sold on the city solution. I expect to see it any day. Tanja Phillips says she's been living on the Caledonia Winsford Dresden intersection for 31 years. She tells me every day people don't stop at the stop signs on this four way intersection. It's one stop sign, then you don't have another till you get to the end of the street. So a lot of times it's just a straight through for people. Since people aren't obeying the law, Phillips and the city of Cleveland Heights are worried for people's safety. There are kids there. There's a church there, so it is a concern that you should stop there. But what is the city doing about it? Philip showed me this flyer she received explaining the city's new traffic calming program. The city plans to install a painted temporary compact roundabout and removable barriers. If it helps, fine. I'm interested to see, but it would have been great for them to come by and just like they put the flyer on the porch. Access our opinion. According to a written letter by the mayor from 2010 to 2024, more than 30 cars have crashed in the area, causing serious injury and death. Phillips says her concern is that the intersection is too small for the city's solution and it could confuse some people. A roundabout, I don't know how that's going to help, yeah. but somebody thought it should be and they put a flyer on my porch saying it will be. But the city says they've done their research. In the mayor's letter, they quoted a study that found that compact roundabouts led to 35% fewer total crashes and 76 fewer crashes with injuries at intersections where they were installed. But if it works, fine. If it doesn't, remove it as fast as you put it up there. The temporary roundabout will be in place for about the next three to six months. After that, the city is going to assess how well it worked and if they want to make this a permanent addition to the neighborhood. Here in Cleveland Heights, I'm Aria Janelle, 19 News.